year three, welcome to your history lesson today. So as you may have already read from the task sheet, we are looking at the Romans this term. That's our topic to study. Um, and today in our history lesson, we're going to look at the, the story of how Rome um, was founded. So Rome is the capital of Italy and it is where the Roman Empire began. And we're going to look at the, the myth of how um, Rome began, okay? And then your task will be to retell that story um, as a storyboard, okay? I have, to help me, I have this beautiful book called Meet the Ancient Romans. Um, and it's got, it tells the story um, of how Rome began really nicely. So I thought I'd use this to help us um, learn uh, the history of Rome today. So, it says, the Roman Empire began in, well, Rome. It was one of the greatest the world had ever seen. For nearly 500 years, a huge chunk of Europe was ruled by emperors of Rome, who led mighty armies in their quest for even more power. The Romans gave us canals and straight roads, but they also gave us gladiators, baths and shopping centres. What made Rome so great? What did gladiators do? Why did everyone wear sandals? Let's explore from the beginning. I'll just show you. If you remember from when we were in class and we've been looking at maps, remember I told you about that, that country in Europe that looks a bit like a boot? That's Italy. And Rome, where the Romans started their empire, is here. Okay, so. The Romans had a myth or a story about how their city began. It's called the story of Romulus and Remus. Romulus and Remus were twins. They were born sons of the god Mars. When they were babies, their evil uncle left them to drown in the river Tiber. Thankfully, a she-wolf rescued them and protected them while they grew up. So they were raised, these twin boys were raised by wolves, according to this story. When they were older, Romulus and Remus took revenge on their horrid uncle and killed him. When that was done, they decided to start a new city, but couldn't agree on where to put it. The brothers looked for a sign from the gods to see which of them had the best plan, but that didn't work either. They argued constantly and one day got into a fight. Remus killed Remus was killed in the fight, so Romulus got his way and built a new city overlooking the Tiber. He then modestly named the new place after himself. So that is why they say that Rome is called Rome because it was built by one of the twins, Romulus. I'll just show you these pictures. So this is similar to what you're going to be doing today. You're going to be writing the story of Romulus and Remus. Can you see at the end here? So Romulus built the city of Rome and apparently according to the myth and the legend of this story that's how Rome began. So if you scroll down the task sheet underneath you'll see a space where you can write in what you remember from the story of Romulus and Remus and if you want to you can get your own piece of paper and even draw out your own pictures. That would be lovely. Okay, I look forward to seeing them. Bye for now.